Peace and love, family. Coming to you live from Damn Me Jack in the Box. This is where I post up at. Okay, attendance. Gotta take attendance. Got my Shungai with me. Got my quartz, consecrated quartz point. I'm about to be re reiterating to y'all and talking to y'all today about uh, the 17 second rule and how I manifested with that in my Vegas trip. I made a video about it already, but I feel like this is a big ass deal and not a lot of people seen that video, probably titled it wrong. But so I'm gonna do it again because <clears throat> it's very important. So I was on the trip going to Las Vegas with my family. Uh, for my 21st birthday back in 2014. Um, so we get on the plane, right? And since we're going to, you know, Vegas, which is, you know, the gambling capital or whatever, the stewardess, the flight attendant is like, okay guys, we're gonna play trash bag Jeopardy or trash bag lottery. Write your name on a dollar and then I'll go around and you place it in the trash bag. So at first I was like, wow, I ain't gonna win and shit, I, I'm not playing. So my mom's like, oh, cool, yeah, we'll do that. You know, and I'm like, I'm good. My mom's like, no, we're all playing. So, you know, she get a dollar for each of us and we write our name on it, put it in there. So I'm like, okay, I'm playing now. And I was fresh on my law of attraction stuff, you know, my manifesting. So I was like, let me uh, practice some of these, <laughs> some of these skills, new skills I've acquired. So, boom. The stewardess, we dropped the dollar in there and then she stands up, she's like, all right. You know, mind you, uh, when I dropped the dollar in, this is exactly what happened. I put my dollar in there and I said, okay, I already won, I already won, I already won, I already won. I kept telling myself that I won, like, you know, I won in different forms, in different ways, saying that I won to myself. For 17 seconds straight, I was like, I won, I won, man. I won this shit, oh, I got it, that's crazy. I fucking won, like, hell yeah, you know. And the, the main thing was, is that taken to mind, you know, well, I did that, I won, I won, I won for 17 seconds. Then the stewardess is up there, she's like, all right, drum roll, please. <gasps> Darnell! And I'm like, oh shit, you know. I get up and I'm like, oh, you know. I'm trying to play it all cool, all suave, like, you know, I get up all slow and shit, I'm trying to, I'm like, yeah, you know. <laughs> I didn't want that month. My dad like, hurry up and get that money before I take the shit. I'm like, all right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. So I go get the money. It was about, I think, 90-something passengers, maybe 100 passengers. So it ended up being around roughly $100 that I won. Then, even crazier, the lady sitting in front of me, she was like, Oh, God, I'm so glad for you. You won. Da, da, da. What you doing down here going to Vegas? I was like, man, I'm going to Vegas for my 21st birthday. She's like, Oh, really? Oh, here's $20. Happy birthday. I'm like, No, dude, I just won $100. We all seen, like, don't give me no more damn money. Like, I had to try and tell her, No, keep it. But she insisted. So I'm like, Damn, that was a whole $120 that I got before I even got to Vegas. Like, and so when it happened, I was like, Okay, I already won. I already won. I kept saying that for 17 seconds straight. And then. Uh, major key after that I let it go I said all right I won boom that's crazy and you let that thought go you just let it go and just change the subject think about something else do something else take your mind off that shit cuz boom it's sealed you know that little thought form is like oh we won we won boom let it go if you start thinking about it more you're only gonna bring in doubt and negative thoughts that's why they say let it go after that but if you are gonna think about it, only add positive thoughts. And it does that naturally because 17 seconds is the threshold, 17 to 68 is the threshold to where that thought, 17 seconds of it, it starts to find like thoughts and like vibrations and like frequency. So that thought will go find some more positive thoughts that match its frequency. So let it go, leave it alone and let it do its job. Let it do its own work. If you do think about it, 
add more positivity to it but it's just safe to not think about it at all so that's what i did I said my name and then major key my vibration how i was feeling played a huge role i understood that i'm like damn i won really because i thought that you know and then my vibration was high because think about you being on a trip anywhere any type of vacation you you already know it's it's gonna take a lot for you to get mad a lot for you to you know vacations are really just very happy very you know good feeling you know scenario so i was already like oh hell yeah man so i'm just thinking like man i don't even give a fuck if i win you know i'm just like i'm ready to get to vegas like so i can have my real fun you know and that played a major key i wasn't like oh man i gotta win this i gotta win this come on oh my god i'm probably not gonna get this shit it's probably five other people trying to do the same thing i was just like man i already won that shit cool let's see if this law of attraction skill i didn't learn works i'm like boom if it work it work if it don't it don't and that's kind of how you have to be. You just have to be very happy-go-lucky, you know? Very happy-go-lucky, and I was. Because I, they caught me while I was in a good vibrational state. I was already up there like, oh, shit, I'm going to Vegas, dog. Not even worried about the lottery. So I'm like, I won. 17 seconds, boom. Yeah, so how you're feeling plays a major key, too. Yeah, your vibration. So yeah, 17 second rule, it really works. I want 120 plus dollars at least. Yeah, love y'all, peace.